Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Maps and how easy it is to put uh, a map into your post. Over on the left hand sidebar of your dashboard you're going to see Google Maps and when you mouse over it you get this little fly out. You can see all maps and add new. We're going to add new. So yeah, we're going to leave the page for now. So the first thing it wants is a title. And we're talking about 177 Kenneth Street. So that's what we're going to call the name of the map. We could probably use this more than once, by the way. If you're ever doing work around Kenneth Street, you could just come back and get this map later. But anyway, so we're going to do, we're going to create a marker, 177 Kenneth Street. And you can see it's giving us selections here. So let's go see what this is doing here. It's got a marker at 177 Kenneth Street. Let's expand this a little bit. There we go. Um, you also have the opportunity to dra drop, drag and drop a marker if you want to. So um, there we go. We can also, if you want, show places. And if I click show places, yes, it's going to say no place types are selected. So what I have to do is go down here further down the page and say, okay, what do I want to show? Okay, I want to show up there. I know there's a church in the area. I know there's a pet store in the area. Where's pet store? I saw that before. Pet store, uh, liquor store, jewelry store, um, peace. I don't know what else have we got here. Museum, park. Just to help people locate where it is. City hall, bah, bank, bakery. That's good enough. Now we update map. And you can see all those places. It's getting kind of junky actually. Out of hand craft fairs. Oh, okay. All right, whatever. It's a bit junky, so actually what I'm going to do is go down and take some of that stuff out. So if I wanted to take out um, police and jewelry store and liquor store and museum. Let's do that. I don't want it to be that junky. All right, good enough. Did I update the map? All right, now I can here uh, over here to the side where you can't actually see in the right hand. Um, sidebar it gives you the short code which I'm just going to copy unfortunately we can't like I think I better do this so that you can actually see it there's the short code so I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to publish the map now I'm going to go back to the post where I need the map so I go to posts All posts. And partial sidewalk closure, closure Kenneth Street. And make sure I'm in text view, which I am. And there's my short code. Google Maps, update the page. Let's preview the page. You will note that there is no marker on here, and I noticed that that's a little bit of a problem with this, that if I put in the address, it puts the marker in, but that it doesn't actually show, but it will work if you drag and drop. So if you need me to make you another video, I can. The last thing we did was create a map, and the marker wasn't showing because of a bug, obviously in this plugin. I was going to pick another plugin, but you have to pay if you want to do more than one map. So we'll just work around this one. So I go back to Google Maps in the left sidebar, go to all maps this time. 
And here's my Kenneth Street map. Edit. And sure enough, if I go to look at the map, there is not, not a, um, a marker. So, like I said, I'm going to drop a marker. Click on the map. And I can just say 177 Kenneth Street. And over on the right-hand side, I'm going to do Update. Now I'm going to go back to the post to see if it has updated the map. Edit. Let's go preview changes. And there's the marker. Good. So um, in future, don't bother putting in the address in the address bar. Just drag, uh, just click the click the uh, drop marker button and add it manually. And Bob's your uncle.